I was asked to speak to an audience of a thousand people about my journey of coding. I don't have a computer science degree and I didn't go through a boot camp. And yet, what I'm about to tell you changed my life. I took some notes for this talk and I wanted to share them with you. The title is A Practical No BS Guide to Become a Successful Coder. It's a guide for guys who want real advice from someone who went through this journey alone, made countless mistakes, from feeling lost and believing that this is not for me, to working as a software engineer in LA in the span of a single year, and soon moving to New York to work from our startup office in the Empire State Building. If you're watching this video, then like I was, you're probably feeling lost. You hear everybody talking about coding. It's the future, a lot of money to be made in tech. You think, hey, maybe I should give it a try, but I'm not a genius, I don't know if I can make it. You have those doubts in your head. You start simple, with a free online course, maybe a tutorial on YouTube. It didn't work well, did it? You zoned out after a few hours, sometimes even a few minutes. So you think, let me try a legit course. You go on Udemy, whoa, 90% discount. In 20 hours, become a real developer. You take your credit card and you buy it. Start watching it for a few hours. But then you drop it again. You didn't finish the course, you're stuck. You go back to TikTok, watching animes and playing video games. You start to believe this is not for you. You'll never be a coder. So you quit. But if you're watching this, there is hope. It means that at least you didn't quit yet. And the truth is, you can do it, brother. With the right guidance, it's a lot more straightforward than you think. In just a minute, I'll show you a practical guide, the core of what you need to become a coder. But first, there is one thing you have to realize. This bit is important. Don't make the mistake of skipping this video and just watching bits and pieces here and there. You need to frame your mind right, otherwise you will never escape this cycle of failure. If you already started learning to code, there are high chances that your mind has been corrupted. 90% of the people who want to learn to code, quit. That means that whatever we're all doing as a society doesn't work. If you want to be part of the statistic, then yeah, skip around. Otherwise, keep watching. What I will say next, I know it's boring for some, but you can't go anywhere without a purpose. You're not just learning to code, you're missing the point if this is what you believe. You're gonna run in a wall and you're not even gonna realize it. You need at least some level of purpose. Because in this world, there are too many distractions to not have a clear mind. You'll end up being a slave to society, a shell of what you could achieve. Just a little background character running in the matrix. So step one, you need a purpose. Why do you wanna learn how to code? Simple question. What do you wanna do? How does it benefit you? What do you want to bring to the world? Your reasons might be different from mine, from your friends, from your neighbors, from the baker across the street who wants to change careers. But if you can't answer that, then bro, what do you expect? Obviously you're gonna quit. You're setting yourself up for failure. Don't be like 90% of the masses. Set your mind right before starting this journey. Step two, pick one programming language. It will be your weapon in this journey. My personal pick, JavaScript. It's a very popular language, it's good for most people. You, you can work on front-end, back-end, web apps, mobile apps. They're good resource where you can learn, we'll go deep into that, I'll tell you everything I know. Another good language is Python, but like I said, start with only one and master it. You're not the avatar, you're not gonna master all the elements in one go. It takes time to become a code bender. You have to start with one element, one language, and that'll make you lethal as a coder. Don't make my mistake, I jumped around everything. Java, Python, C++, JavaScript, PHP, and others. You will become average at all of them. Like Bruce Lee said, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Step three, pick one resource and stick to it. I've been a victim of bad online courses, not knowing where to start. There are a lot of YouTubers who make boring coding videos. That, that's just how it is. Udemy's top courses are horrible. Not in terms of the quality of the information, but the delivery, like you'll fall asleep. Most college courses suck as well. They don't know how to teach, so what to do? All of these problems is because you're learning from the wrong sources. There's one resource I can recommend, Code Academy. They have an excellent free course to learn JavaScript. The reason why this course is the best is because it's actually applied. You practice what you learn. That's how coding should be. Most of the industry has got it backwards. You don't learn how to code by watching videos and encoding in your head. That's not how it works. You'll waste your time and destroy your confidence because you're gonna spend 10 hours watching videos. And then when you actually start to code, you can't do nothing. So you start with this practical course. Once you're done with that, there's an additional step, but I recommend it. You see, this JavaScript course is a great introduction and by the end of it, you'll get a good grasp of what JavaScript is. But it only scratches the surface of how to think like a coder, the fundamentals of software engineering. And to be honest, most people are fine not knowing it, but if you wanna be a pure developer and if you don't wanna have a disadvantage compared to people who did it in college, 
you better learn it now because it will come bite you in the future at some point. Look, CS50's Introduction to Computer Science is the best course to learn these fundamentals that I know of. It will teach you how to look at the world in a very programmatic and rational way. Back in the day, I did a different course, but if I knew this one, that's the one I would have taken. It's a world-class course taught at Harvard and available for free on EDX. If you complete all, but it will take time and it's not easy. I can't believe you're saying this right now. Actually, no, I can't believe it because that's what I used to say. But if you think about it, it's so insane. You want to change the trajectory of your life and this can do that. So you should take time and seriously do it. It's normal that it takes time and it's not easy. It could be easy sometimes, but it's not gonna always be easy, quick and cheap. And that's okay. Step four, work on projects. Learning through courses is fun, but you didn't start all of this to be stuck in tutorial land forever. At some point, you wanna start building cool stuff. It's like a soldier training for war in a safe simulated environment and then actually going to war. It's completely different. How can you call yourself a warrior if you don't go out there and fight? People just usually don't know what to build. They don't have ideas, so they don't do nothing. Or they build the most boring projects ever. I made a video with seven original project ideas for you. I'll link it in the description. Finish watching this video first and then check that one. Working on projects is a great way to learn new tools. Since by that stage, you learned JavaScript already. You can quickly learn React for the front end, Node Express for the back end. For the database, you can use PostgreSQL. Start with a REST API first. But you could also start with GraphQL with tools like Hasura that provides a ready API out of the box. If none of these words make sense to you, that's okay. Don't worry, you can just come back to the section in the video once you start your journey. Step five, share what you built. That's something I didn't do enough back in my day. I should have done much more because of the opportunity it can give you. Create a Twitter account and start publicly sharing what you built, what you're working on. You should also share in communities like Reddit and Hacker News. Put your code on GitHub and deploy your apps using Heroku, for example, so people can play around with it and potentially share it with others. Being part of a community and getting feedback on your work is tremendous at this stage. It will keep you motivated and help you grow. The difference between someone learning by himself and one learning with others is astonishing. Now that you have done all of this, it's time for money to come in the equation. It's time to write code that matters. Step six, program in the matrix. As a coder, you can bend the matrix around you to create what you want. You can bring the change that you want to see. And you'll do it either by building your own company or joining one. And if you do good work, you'll be rewarded massively in both cases. To join a big company, the likes of Google and Apple, you have to do a bunch of lead code. It's a website with coding challenges asked in interviews. Start with the easy ones, finish them in under 45 minutes, then go for the medium ones. Work on them until you can finish them in 45 minutes. When you reach that stage, then you're ready for interviews. To join a young startup, it's different. Usually they will ask you to build a small app instead of a lead code style question. So there, your experience building projects will be very convenient. To build your own startup, you need a good idea and you need to execute. I've made dedicated videos where I talk about each of those in more details. I'll link them in the description, so don't worry. I sincerely hope you found this information valuable and you learned something. Now that you watch this video, maybe you're motivated and you want to start and you think that everything will be perfect now according to plan. No, bro, that's not how it works. Things take time. You'll have moments when your motivation drops and that's fine. Don't be discouraged. What helps in this journey is to remember why you're doing this, to be surrounded by like-minded people and to be part of a community that will inspire you. Listen. I have something for you. I want to build an army, a code bender nation, and I'm very selective as to who I want to bring on board. This community will be very different from other communities you see on the internet. If you are serious and you want to start shaping the matrix instead of just living in it, if you want to become a code bender, if you want to build cool things and you want to join this movement, then subscribe.